What's up, guys? Welcome, Crypto Fud. Let's jump right into this. All right, so Vault, Vault anew. Let's see. Right now, we are at a very pivotal point. We have bounced back to the 0.5. We're slightly a little bit under the 0.5, and we are currently sitting at around 12.5. We definitely want to see a bounce from here, even if it's going to consolidate a little bit. That's the only thing that's kind of worrying me a little bit is back when these two spots, when we slapped the same, same kind of area, this one was a little bit lower. This one actually hit around 12 two. This one hit exactly where we're at right now. We was very, it was very short lived. Pretty much. We had such a drastic move up, such a drastic move down. We slapped. That 0.5, which was around 12.5, 12.4, and then basically started our, our movement up. Buyers came in. Here, we kind of, we bounced. If you can see, if you zoom in a little bit, and I'll zoom in for you. <laughs> right here, we actually did touch the point, the uh, 12.5, 12.4, and then we dipped a little bit down to the 12.2, and that's, in, that's when basically it hit that mark where the buyers came in. They were like, all right, and that's when we move moved up here where we're at right now it's playing out i wouldn't say the same but we definitely do want to see some kind of a movement up here we are consolidating finding some kind of support at this 0.5 right now like i said we're sitting at around 12.5 we definitely want to see volt see the buyers come in and we definitely want to move up I will tell you, me personally, I will be a buyer. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm actually going to be making some purchases. Um, I did tell myself when we did hit this spot right here, this was going to be a buy zone for myself. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. For the short term, what do I think? If I was to look at this chart, what is it telling me? Well, you know, we can say history might repeat itself and maybe we'll see this bounce, but the third time, I think we might see possibly somewhere where we maybe dip down a little bit between the 0.5 and the 618. If we don't see a big buy-in and buyers come in and basically give us some nice support and shoot us back up towards this 382, somewhere around the 13, 14, 5 area, we're definitely going to see some kind of a consolidation and then there's going to be eventually some kind of a drop. The markets right now, the actual markets, I know Vault doesn't really go in sync with Bitcoin and all that stuff. It, it's on its own. But I do always like to just bring out, you know, as far as the actual market right now, you know, we, we're doing great and we're not doing bad right now, but Bitcoin is struggling at that 28,000 mark. It had 28,000 as support. Now it's getting 28,000 as resistance. Usually when you see something like that, you know, if something uh, flips from support to resistance, it usually can mean that we're going to have somewhere of a downward movement. I don't think it's going to be anything drastic, but I do think we're going to maybe drop down and maybe retest some levels. Who knows? Bitcoin's crazy right now. It's such a crazy time. You know, you see like it'll drop down 27,500 and then the next day we're back up thinking we're going up to 29,000. So who knows? At the end of the day, these markets are crazy. I'm just going by what we have in front of us and what we can actually, you know, kind of go from. So again, you know, myself, this is a, a pivotal point right now. I definitely will be adding to my bag right now with this uh, this level that we're at around 12.5. I was kind of hanging tight to see maybe if it is going to do what I said and maybe drop down a little bit more. But you know what I've learned is um, dollar cost averaging in for myself. You find good spots and you just, you know, you buy in if it drops more, you know, that you, I don't put all my funds in at one purchase. I, you know, I will just trickle in, trickle in dollar cost average in. So even if it's dropping down, I'm just dollar cost averaging in. So that's pretty much it right now. Like I said, we definitely do want to see some kind of a support at this level. If it drops down, I think the one thing that you guys need to take from, from anything that I'm saying is that this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity for you to, you know, obviously make your own financial decisions. I'm not giving financial advice, but this could be an opportunity for yourself to add to your bag. Because like I said, this isn't a short term play. This is a long term play. This thing hasn't even freaking hit any of the market, really. 
You know, you got to do swaps to get into here. I leave the comments on um, what are some of the exchanges? I know there's got to be some exchanges for Vault, but for myself, I can, um, you know, when I purchase, I can um, purchase either through obviously through Ethereum swapping or Polygon swapping. So if you guys do know any major exchanges, put it in the comments for anybody that's kind of curious if they don't, if they're not too familiar with doing swaps, they can uh, maybe go to those platforms and, and purchase. But other than that, just look out, you know, for a possible drop down towards the between uh, between the the uh, 0.5 and the 618, somewhere around 11. I'd probably say 12 even would probably be a solid spot because I I see you know that far drop right here was at around 12.2. If we see anything more than that, it's going to be probably 12 even, maybe 11.9, and then I see the buyers coming up and at least bringing us back up to this 0.5. So again, these are just opportunities I look at to just add to the bag. From there on, if we could see maybe a little pop, I mean, you guys know how the story goes. When this thing does pop, it rips. We could be jumping back up to the 382. Eventually, at some point, we're going to get to that spot where the buyers are going to come in, overwhelm the sellers. We're going to be bouncing back up to this 382 somewhere around 14, 5, but I feel like that's a little too, that's a big jump. We first need to uh, retest these spots of, of resistance somewhere around 14, 14, 2. And we'll go from there. Other than that, guys, like I said, this is an opportunity. What are you doing with it? Make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel. I'll make sure to come out with more daily content. I know I haven't been coming out daily. You know, things have been stagnant. I've been kind of just waiting to see what's going on. But from there, make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel, all right, so you can get instant alerts. Thank you guys so much.